Yeah, so I've got this. Oh my god, finally, dude. And I actually pulled off the full OTK. Rope, I swear to god. Oh my god, we finally pulled this off. Don't forget to put on your explorer sap because for this combo, we're going to be hunting down some dinosaurs for an epic OTK. The official Play Hearthstone Twitter account ended up making a post about what's your favorite beast and why is it trampling Rhino? And honestly, I was personally attacked by this tweet because Charged Devilsaur and Dinosaurs are clearly the best beasts in the entire game. There is no questions asked. So for this combo, I really wanted to highlight that fact because I haven't actually done a Charged Devilsaur combo in quite some time. And as we all know, Celestial Alignment is kind of my bread and butter. So putting this deck together was actually not that difficult uh, in all honesty. Although we did go between two different builds. And the reason why I decided on this build is because I did try a Gadsden build at the beginning and it just couldn't cycle through the deck even if I draw the Gadsden uh, consistently. So for this combo, it's very similar like our other uh, Celestial Alignment combos. We have Violet Illusionist and Card Draw in order to help us dig throughout our deck uh, as soon as possible. However, the combo is different and doesn't require us to uh, completely dig throughout our entire deck. We just need the certain comp, like we just need the specific combo cards. So let me go ahead and walk you guys through this epic Clever Girl OTK. As I said before, you don't have to draw throughout your entire deck in order to pull off this combo, but I mean, it's essentially the same thing as the other Celestial Alignment decks to where you do need to draw your combo as, as fast as possible. Uh, so for this combo, we actually have a few interesting ways of popping it off, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the APM version of being able to pop off this combo, because this is an APM deck to where after you pop off the Celestial Alignment, you could potentially OTK your opponent if the stars align. So essentially what you have to do is... While drawing out your deck, you just have to play Giant Anaconda and then hopefully kill it with a Poison Seeds. Now, you will also see there's a Primordial Drake in this deck, and the only reason why this is in here is for uh, Floops Glorious Gloop Synergies, in case your opponent has a has a board, so you, like, for three mana, can gain a bunch of mana. Or, if you actually have minions on your own field and you need to make room for this combo because you do need to use Germation as part of this, then you do have a way to clear up some board space. But after you kill the Anaconda, it will bring the Charged Devilsaur from your, uh, from your hand to the field to where you can attack with it. So there you can play your Plague Maul the Rotten, uh, Plague Maul the Rotting, I'm sorry, and then you can play Double Germation onto that uh, Devilsaur in order to give you three attacks total. Then you can use either Naturalize or Mulch to kill those other two Devilsaurs in order to summon out two more from the, uh, from the Plague Maul. So that is an easy way that you can summon five Devilsaurs in order to charge face for an epic OTK. And that's pretty much it when it comes to this combo. Like, I've done a lot of Celestial Alignment combos, so I'm not gonna, you know, uh, bore you guys with a lot of the specifics that happen in every single one of these decks. But yeah, just draw Overgrowth, draw Alignment, and then hopefully you guys will be able to spam the face with a lot of Devil Source. In the games coming up ahead, we're gonna have two games that actually run this particular list, and one game to where I was able to pull off the Gadgeton combo without uh, any real problem. Except, it kind of ended in a funny way, and honestly, this was the best attempt that we had with this deck, and is the main reason why we needed to switch it, because there was just too many ways to fall short with the Gadgeton build. So I would say, if you want to try this particular deck and pull off some epic, uh, some epic Devil Soar OTK, this is probably the list to try and do it with. And that is my take on APM Devil Sword OTK Druid. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoy this combo or if you're impressed by it, feel free to like the channel and to subscribe in order to be notified about any other future uploads that we happen to come out with. The deck code is down below for any of you wacky scientists that want to experiment with some DNA. And if you ever want to catch these clips live, we stream at twitch.tv slash Clark Hellscream. I hope you guys enjoy cloning dinosaurs in the name of science. And we'll see you for the next video. Oh my god, overgrowth and alignment? Okay, please don't be a secret mage. Uh, United States. The list of states and territories. Okay. So number one is Alabama. Oh boy, we're starting off strong, aren't we? Uh, okay, so people in Alabama are known for, for two things, it, it seems like. They're either known for their, their sports... Because Alabama sports are actually very well done, or they're known for their racism. Dude, that, that's pretty much it. I really can't think of anything else. Alabama. And keep in mind, this is somebody who's never been to Alabama. I'll tell you which states I've been to. 
If you put a map, you think that you can tell us every uh, where every state is? Oh, I can definitely tell you where every state is. That's not a problem. That is for sure not a problem. But I can't, like, go, like, oh, yeah, Alabama, Al uh, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado. Like, I, I, can't, I can't do it in order. He, uh, the memes told us incest is in Alabama. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing. Kind of thing that goes hand in hand with racism, but it, it is what it is. Okay, Alaska is the next one. So this is kind of kind of gonna go in a different direction. So Al Alaska is known for uh, let's see, it's known for men who need to escape from something. It's very vague context, but men that need to like go out and live by themselves go out and live in Alaska. It's either that or you're or you're a fisherman of some kind, like you're an ice fisher. Santa Claus, 100%. I don't, I, I don't this think of Santa Claus. Is. He's, he's not, he's not American. He's jolly old Saint Nick. All right, well here we go. Luckily, this wasn't the major that I thought it was. So I might be able to have some fun here. I have overgrowth immediately, so that makes me feel nice with like the, uh, the coon. Okay, Arizona is next. Arizona is known for uh, their their tea. They're known for Arizona iced tea, and they're known for um, oh god, and like deserts, I guess. They got a pretty like, they got a pretty good music scene out there. I've actually done a uh, I've done a show in Arizona before. Mesa Music Fest 20, uh, 2018. Oh, well, you hit the man crick. Oh my god. Okay, well I need to pop off here. And notice how I have like no card draw, dude. Okay, come on, man. Find me some options. Which state do they say get that gator all the time? Bro, where else would it be but Florida? <laughs> ask, ask me another question. <laughs> where else but Florida is that gonna happen? Like legitimate question. All right, well I have to do this. I'm, I'm literally dead. How is it? How is it every single time I have this perfect setup? I don't have my card draw. I have ultimate infestations, overflow, nourishes, branching paths. Come on, man. This game just doesn't want me to succeed, I guess. In the face. But yeah, that's 100% Florida. Florida Gators. Let's, let, they literally name their football team the Gators. Someone better go get that Gator before it finds its way into a Wendy's drive thru. Because there are some people that like to throw gators inside buildings. And there's other people that also like to set raccoons on fire. And in case you don't know exactly what I'm referencing, there's a there's a channel on YouTube called Internet Comment Etiquette. He actually, uh, he had a most, like his most recent episode was, uh, about people from Florida. Florida man, specifically. And it was a really good episode. He's essentially, t he, he essentially makes shit posting into an art. And I and I I look up to that for that to that guy for that very reason. Okay, here we go. Now I can start playing my cards. Yay! Like, the issue here is that I'm gonna have a full board. But I already have this. Wait, I have the combo. Yeah, I have everything in hand. I just need to kill the, uh... Yeah, so I've got this. Oh my god, finally, dude? And I actually pulled off the full OTK? Rope? I swear to god. Oh my god, we finally pulled this off! <laughs> I didn't get to do it in the fashion that I wanted to. I didn't get to do it in the fashion that I wanted to, but we finally got the legitimate win with it. And we popped off all five of the dinosaurs, so I'll take it. We actually survived with a pretty cool combo of poison seeds and the primordial drake. So there you go, dude. Ooh, good start. Bees? Bees are beasts, technically. Or should I go with Guidance? Because that might give me more cards. I feel like I should go with Guidance. 
But I'm gonna go with the turn three overgrowth, hopefully. Just ramp up us both up by two. Play overgrowth immediately. Pog champ move. We never hit we never hit priests because we're we're sending a message. We're sending a message that I am a foe to be feared. So watch out for my mighty beasts. Okay, we got gadget. We just need alignment now. I'll try to find it off on of guidance. I think it's pretty unlikely that it happens. Shaman cards are so bad, kick W. Uh, I mean, you know, this was actually pretty good. <laughs> okay, I take I take back what I said about shaman cards. Turns out they're actually pretty nifty. <laughs> Wait, coin five? All right, that's fine. Here we go. I think I'm gonna wait one turn on the gadget play. I feel like I just need to wait one more turn so that way I can like think about it more in my head. And also give myself a little bit more wiggle room for mana. Insight. Maybe I wait like one more turn. Ooh, wait, that's gonna be zero mana now. The good shaman cards are on other classes Keck W. You know, that is um That seems about right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait one more turn before I do anything. Because I have um I have lightning bloom into gadget solar biology project. And that's just a lot of mana. I'm giving my opponent a lot of mana, but let's see if I can't pop off the combo here. Let's go hunt for dinosaurs. Look at all this mana. Where's me card draw? I got the best deal. I really don't want I can't play any of these spells. I need uh, both germations. Wait, does this mean that I can just go for it? Oh my god, I have enough mana to do this, right? I will pray for you. No, I don't. But I could next turn. Is the oh my I literally have like all the combo pieces except for like I wait for no one. I, I, oh my god, really? I have to play the alignment. I literally have to play the alignment, but then I'm overloaded and I can't do anything. I just literally hit all like the worst cards. Wow, that is unbelievable. That's like actually unbelievable. I didn't hit the other nourishes, I didn't hit the other overgrowth. I just drew all the combo pieces. Cause like I need I need mulch and I need naturalize. Because I've already played one of them. And even then, like the path is clear. Damn, dude. Alright, so the plan here is to uh, eventually draw throughout our deck to get specific combo pieces. And we want to play Anaconda into... I mean, hopefully, uh, if we, we don't need to do this, but Floop Scorious Gloop into... Um, into uh, Poison Seeds. And then we did hit Poison Seeds, unfortunately, which I was kind of hoping for here. Um, but yeah, we hit Poison Seeds uh, from the Anaconda, which makes this pull the... Um, we charge Devil Sword. We give it a uh, double germation. We play Plague Maw into kill both of the uh, the Devil Swords, and you have five Devil Swords I can hit face. Like not not all at once, but that's that's the idea. You summon three. They they hit face. You kill two of them off. Two of them get summoned by this, and then you have enough. Right, cool. Are you gonna trade into the Gadget or what? I have Nourish, so I still have Card Draw. So I'm not really that worried. <laughs> That's genius, lol. <laughs> oh my, he didn't kill the gadget and I also still didn't hit a good card. So this just means I just gotta go for it, right? How do I even go for it? Like I need... Alright, this, this is what I need to do. We'll play this with fresh mana. We mulch this, it doesn't kill the gadget. Okay, the gadget's still alive. I can play this. There's fine.
finally poison seeds. Should I just play? I mean, I, I play it and gadget triggers before it happens. Time waits for no one. I think I have to. Okay. So the issue here is that I'm not going to be able to OTK my opponent. Because I'll be able to get four dinosaurs. I'll be able to get four dinosaurs here. You know, okay, so actually, I don't need three, I just need two. Yeah, Kuhn doesn't refresh overloaded mana crystals. I just needed to get him out of hand. I just really needed the minion because I needed the gadget not to die from the, uh, from the random death rattle. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, I mean, it's because it's it's mana you you can't access. Like it's literally overloaded. <laughs> isn't that isn't that cool? All right, I hit nourish, so I have to draw with it. All right, so I think we have you know damage, but we don't have the OTK. So it's a little unfortunate. I think we have 28 damage. Is there any way that I can somehow connect this? No. Well, we're just gonna do it anyway. Another close but no cigar attempt. Anaconda and the poison seeds. All of these things will trigger before the dinosaur comes out. Maybe he'll just concede out of respect. Literally one damage off, dude. Should I just add a pounce to this deck? You know, maybe that's actually not that bad of an idea. If I add a pounce, that's one less minion that I have to kill. Will pray for you. And now we'll just set him at one mana. So deal with it. I mean, he could technically deal with this, but let's not think about that. I think adding a pounce to this deck might not be that bad of a thing. Because pounce honestly just works. Like, at least something that deals damage. Is there any other, any other card that I could squeeze in here that would make sense? Oh wait, branching paths. Branching paths would make 100% sense for this kind of deck. It's a good utility card, actually. I could maybe get rid of Solar Eclipse for it. Wait. <laughs> a win's a win, I don't care. <laughs> I will pray for you too. Oh my god, dude, even with the clear, it still wasn't good enough. Oh, dude, this is gonna be the game. Oh, it's the high roll turn. High roll turn incoming. Don't be, um, aggro rogue. 15 years I lived in Fort Lauderdale, West Palm uh, Beach, North Florida. Ooh. Job's done. North Florida are the crazies. Orlando North. I actually, um, I have a good family friend that lives in Florida. And the main reason why he went down there is because I think he has family down there. But he also goes to, like, Disneyland all the time. And there's one... Okay, so I actually was... A, I, I I got the uh, the great... Um, I got I got really lucky to be a part of band uh, in high school. To be part of a uh, marching band. Because there was a field trip that we went to Disneyland uh, during my junior year. And I, I did marching band all four years of high school. And every, every two years, there's a major trip, and every other year, uh, oh, so yeah, so every, every, every two years, there was a major trip, like, they would go out of state, like, really someplace far, like, Indiana to, to Florida type far, versus, uh, the years in between those, you'd go to, like, Cincinnati or something, or, or do whatever, um, but one year, uh, I don't know how my high school got in contact with people from Disney, but we did, like, a march, it, at, like we did a march at Disney so, like we were in some kind of like parade march that did like music and we had like uh, we did like Disney songs I don't even remember what we did but literally all we did was like that one that one parade that one thing of work and like maybe one other thing but the and the rest of the like the vacate like the rest of the uh, the weekend was like for a vacation so pretty much for doing like one or two things we got to spend like three days at Disney World you hit, you hit 100 followers let's go ulti con my guy. Proud of you, my dude. Keep it up. 
Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna gain armor. And I'm gonna gain armor. Because this guy wants to make me draw. And I don't appreciate it. Okay. Look at all this life I have. I'm gonna be able to definitely draw throughout my deck here. <laughs> Hopefully Kuhn will be able to find something for me. Are we gonna actually be able to pull this off against the mill road of all decks? I have to worry about Death Lords though. Wait, Death Lord can help. If I draw all the minions and Devil Store still in the deck. Talk about a good meme. Kinda risky to throw that down, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Maybe I want this for card draw. Okay. So I have mana. But I really don't have much else. See, this is why I wanted to save the Nourish. I can't really play these. Because it pulls out the... Um... Wait, it pulls out the Anaconda. Oh my god. I finally did it. Oh my god, time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you... No! I finally did it! I finally did it, but I took those few extra set. Oh my god! Oh. I didn't even play the alignment! This is such a cool combo, dude! <laughs> so many options. Oh my god! That was so cool! I literally had it, dude. Who knows what secrets? God damn, dude. Yes, this is a cool combo. And watch him just play Vanish and completely make everything irrelevant. Hold on a minute. What if I play the other alignment? What lurks in the dance? Wait. What is he doing? He's trying to kill minions. Is he going to have enough damage? I have like another open infestation that I can play with both of these. I'm gonna I'm counting this, okay? I'm counting this. Cause I literally was mousing over the card. I'm counting this. This 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 counts. Especially if I kill him. Oh crap. It doesn't look like that's happening. I really need this minion to survive. If it survives and if we draw ultimate infestation, we actually win. Come on. All right, that's uh, fine. It's fine. It's really not fine. <laughs> Super upset. This was the game. <laughs> Hi Trollden. <laughs> this is this is what this is what sadness looks like. This, this is why this is why your mom tells you not to do memes. Because it'll turn you into a filthy degenerate like myself. Oh my god. I'm I'm counting that. I hope you guys realize I'm counting that. That one definitely worked out. Like that was like the whole turn where I went for like the draw and I and I and I would have had enough if I just spent like two more seconds making one more decision.